I can wipe out the entire Sioux Nation with 80 men, boasted Captain William Fetterman in 1866. But his arrogance would lead to disaster. Crazy Horse, the Lakota warrior, had no intention of letting such a threat go unanswered. On a freezing December day, Crazy Horse used one of his most cunning tactics, deception. He feigned retreat, knowing Fetterman would take the bait. Lured into a narrow valley, Fetterman and his soldiers were walking into a trap. Hidden on the ridges above were 1,500 Lakota, Cheyenne, and Arapaho warriors waiting to strike. The battle was swift and brutal. In less than an hour, Fetterman and all his men lay dead, overwhelmed by the superior strategy and warrior spirit of Crazy Horse and his allies. Crazy Horse's brilliance wasn't just recognized by his people. His use of deception, terrain, and timing has been studied by military strategists for generations. Today, his tactics are taught at West Point as examples of effective guerrilla warfare, proving that even against superior numbers, strategy can win the day. Fetterman's arrogance led to his downfall, but Crazy Horse's genius left a legacy that military minds still admire.